hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to my youtube channel and uh, i am your host sunny and uh, in this tutorial what we are going to do is like we will explore one very basic library that is python.n okay and it is a very interesting library why because uh, it helps you to uh, like read the secret files very easily right you don't have to write um, too much code here so if you just see its documentation here so what it does is like you have to create a dot env uh, uh, file in your root of your project okay and uh, then you have to just simply write this uh, code and it will automatically that uh, that uh, the, the variable that you have written into dot n okay uh, which will be written like this like you have to use this uh, it's not mandatory but like uh, the environment variable name and then its value and once you pass it on into this dot n and once you run this code so it will be available as an environment variable in immediately okay and that's uh, like it saves a lot of time okay so i have been using uh, config files i used to go for yaml and all those stuff and uh, it used to take a lot of uh, like we have to write code again and again multiple times okay so this could save us a lot of time at least for the secret files okay so uh, let's see that okay how it works and uh, uh, for this what i am going to do is like let me go to my repository so here i have this base repository which is created and it is a public template which you can directly use it and it contains some uh, basic files which will help you to uh, get started faster so let's click on this use this template and click on this create a new repository and here I will simply write the name, let's say, since it's a quick start again, quick start uh, python.n, okay? And uh, description, I can leave it as of now optional, since it's optional, so I can leave it as it is and click on include all branches, that's it. So let's create the repository from this template. So I will put this link into description also for that base repository. And if you even uh, go to this, uh, okay, so I think I uh, misspelled the name. So let's let's go to the settings and let's change it. Okay, quick start. Okay, so let's again rename that. Yeah, so uh, if you go to this link again, so you will see that it is generated from this template and you can have this link again. So uh, either now what you can do is you can either clone this repository to the local or you can even use code spaces from GitHub itself. Okay, so we can click on uh, create code space on main. So what code space is actually, it, it is uh, an environment provided by uh, GitHub itself. Okay, so where it will launch a kind of virtual machine for you. Uh, and uh, this VM will have Ubuntu or I think Linux as a base operating system. And it also contains uh, like Conda is also pre-installed. Okay, so this is how it will look like. And let me slightly make it larger so that it will be easily visible to all of you and yeah so you can see it welcomes to code space and all those stuff is already written and you can see it contains tools like python and all these are already installed so let's clean this river and uh, yeah so now what we can do is uh, since it is already have conda environment but it is not initialized so i will simply write conda and then in it so if i run this you will see that it will run some bunch of checks and it will lastly it says that you have to reopen this current shell so let's click on this delete button okay and that's it and let's again go to the top left hand side go to the this hamburger and uh, so go to the terminal and click on this new terminal and otherwise you can go for a shortcut control shift and back tick so here you can see now we have the base environment already active yeah, yeah. so now let me show you the content of this particular uh, repository which we have created so it has git ignore files uh, like which contains the things which we don't need okay which, which is not which should not be committed to the your github repository so you can see here in the environments at line number 104 you will see all these files and folders are there Okay, so dot env is already it is mentioned here and env forward slash that means all the environment folder if you create it or when virtual environment so it will be ignored by uh, the the this version control system of this kit so let's close this we don't going to we are not going to change anything there i'm just showing you the content next is the init setup.sh okay so this will contain uh, this actually it, it contains all the st uh, like step we uh, that we generally take again and again while creating an environment using conda so i have written these commands here itself in this bash script so conda create that means it will create the environment with python 3.8 uh, 
version and if you want to change it to anything else so you can definitely change it let's say if you want to go for 3 point maybe 9 or something and then we have uh, I will activate the environment and then I will install the requirements.txt and if you go to the requirements.txt so again it contains the basic requirements that we need so it already has python.env here and uh, since for this tutorial i will also show you a demo of openai so how to use openai uh, because openai requires a secret key and we will get uh, give you the demo of that here so i will add it here as a dependency here in the requirements.txt and uh, next is the readme file so you can see it is since it is cloned from base repo it is already showing you base repo so we can change it to uh, python uh, dot n demo okay so that's it so let's commit these changes okay so i will commit this separately so if i click on readme.md uh, you can see that showing the changes that i have done i will simply add go to the plus sign here i hope you can see it and then i will write the message here that update readme and then control enter so it will commit the changes and then i will go to the, this requirements so i will just simply add it uh, or stage the changes and i will simply write here that uh, update it with open ai okay i will again press ctrl enter or click on commit so and now it will ask me to sync the changes i will sync the changes here and you can see that it asks there that whether we should pull and push commits from the origin or main so i will say that okay and don't show again and on the on the bottom right side you will also see that there is a something will pop up like would you like to visual code to periodically run git fetch so that it can automatically it will keep on um, like fetching the uh, like get that uh, the commits that you have already done on your repository so i will simply yes uh, click on yes and let's let it be like that okay so this is a very basic setup that is already done and if you want to see the changes you can again go to uh, this repository you will see so if i refresh it so you will see that uh, the updates are already here right so let's go back to again your environment uh, code space so now so first thing that you should do is create a new file here just right click and click new file and create a file by dot env okay so this is done and right now you can see that we haven't still uh, installed the requirements so to install the requirement you can like you can simply go for a pip install and whatever you know already but what i do is like since i've created the setup dot shell script here so i will simply write here bash and init setup.sh so it will automatically it will create my environment for myself and it will activate it and it will also install the requirements that is already there in the requirements.txt file so i will be going with this step and same thing can be followed also in your local uh, um, if you are doing it in your local machine also it can be done only thing that you will require for especially for the windows user that you will need uh, git bash at least okay git scm should be installed and if you are um, like if you want to know the entire setup how to do it so i will put a video link okay in the description as well as at the end of this video so that you can do the entire setup and so, okay so you can see that it is already installed here all the things now only thing that we have to do is if we have to activate the environment so conda activate environment okay so it will activate the environment you can see the prompt has changed to this yeah so we can clean this now let's create a new file here that is uh, main.py okay and uh, in this we will now simply uh, we can simply go to the python.env okay and also here you will see that it is asking you to uh, install some recommended python extension so you can do uh, you can do the installation if you want but it's not required for this very basic demo so let's go to the again the python.n documentation and just we can copy paste this line of code and uh, here we need to also import operating system import os and uh, so you can see that it will automatically it will fetch the environment variables from env so let's go to the env since it is empty it is having nothing so let's add something here let's call it let's create a variable called as open ai api key and let's let's put some gibberish here as of now okay just to show you the demo so let's close it now and in order to get that variable so let's define it here open ai can we just quickly check it is the spelling is correct okay so if there is a mismatch so let's create open ai that's it yeah so open ai api key is equals to os dot get n okay so it will you have to pass the name of the environment variable so it's the same here so this will give you the uh, environment variable here itself and uh, if i print this value of it so you will see that it will automatically it will be available for you 
so let's write now python and main.py so you can see that it is already it is printing you the uh, the, the same thing that I have, we have given as an outcome okay so this value of it is getting printed here okay so this is how you can import it directly right and you can use it directly in api key so now if you just see here on the left hand side it is only showing you the changes which are appeared into main.py right it is not showing you anything about dot n because it is being ignored by uh, my uh, git right so let's commit this change uh, basic tutorial basic example is completed so i will just commit this okay now you can see it is asking me to this uh, since i have directly uh, without adding it to stage i have simply press control enter directly so it will update all the changes at once okay so that is what it is asking stage all your changes and commit them directly so i will say yes and i can sync the changes so this basic example will be available for you at uh, this commit message okay i will show you at the end also like uh, how you can visual, uh, see that there okay so this was a very basic demo right uh, now let's see some good examples okay so for that what i will do is let's go to the api reference from uh, this open ai okay so from on the left hand side you will see there is a completions is written right so create completion so i will just simply click on that create completion you will see there are some uh, outcome here okay so i will select the python here by default you will see curl will be selected so i will select python and i will simply take this uh, i will copy this and I will utilize it in my code. Okay, so open AI, I think I did not uh, import. So let's move these import to the top. Load environment will always be there. And uh, now you can see that it is already, uh, it's already being used here itself. So I can just remove this particular line. And uh, now here we will, you can see that prompt is given as say this as a test. Temperature here means that it, it gives you uh, like, it is nothing but it's a, it's a randomness of the outcome that we want, okay, or the more being more creative. So if you want to keep it to one, so it will give you a, a like more creative or like more, you can, if you want to read about this, you can simply go to the reference part itself. So you will see here in the temperature section, uh, with, it is between zero and two, higher the values of like 0 0.8 will make the output more random, okay, while lower value will make it more focused and deterministic. So that is why you can experiment with the outcome by changing this value. So right now I will keep it to the default and maximum token I will improve it from 100 to let's 7 to 100 okay why because uh, if we keep it 7 so it will give you a very shorter response and uh, prompt we will take it from uh, from the command line itself so prompt is equals to let's make it as an input and I will simply write here enter your prompt okay and I will pass this prompt here now this gives you certain response okay so I will write keep it into a variable called as response and now uh, i will i in order to print that response or to sh see that response i will simply write print statement and i will give you this response now if i uh, go to the api reference so you will see that how the uh, response will look like okay i will put the link of this also in the description so you can see that it it gives you an id and all those things but uh, we need just choices inside the choices we will it will return me a list and then in that list we have again a dictionary where it is into, into the text you will find the outcome right so it's a json response that you get it okay so i will simply go again here i will simply write that uh, choices Okay, and then inside the choices we are getting a list and inside the list we are going going to get the first value so that is zeroth value and then inside that we need the text outcome right so if i print this outcome so it will give you an output okay so now let's try this but before this definitely you will need what you will need the actual api key right now it is the gibberish one here so i will say to in order to get this api key what i will do is i will go to my uh, you have to go to uh, beta openai.com and you have to log in first okay so let me show you that okay how it will look like so if i go to beta dot open ai or i can say simply like beta open ai so you will see that beta open ai.com this will be your and here you have to click on continue either you can uh, sign up here by google or maybe you can continue with the google okay whatever is your choice so in that way you will get something like this okay you will see on the extreme right corner a personal is written okay where you will have your uh, all the basic details so here you can click on view api keys okay 
and in this API key you will see these are my API keys that I've created I've been using it and if you want to see the uses so you can go to the uses section and you can get the information about that okay so right now I have these uh, like this credit is already available for me okay free credits okay so if you uh, log in for the first time so you will get certain free credits okay and so you can do the experiments at least so I will highly recommend that you can try it now let's create a new secret API key here for our demo so I will simply you can see it is API key got generated and I will click on this copy button and I will copy that let's go to our code space and paste it here in the env okay dot n file and let's close it now so now in that case since we have um, like pasted the actual API key and now if I uh, simply uh, run this python main.py file so it will uh, it will not throw me any exception so you can see that it is asking me to enter the prompt so let's say if i want to understand okay let's say uh, what is let's say data science okay so if i ask this so it should return me some response you can see that it is the response is given data science is an interdisciplinary field that uses scientific method process algorithm and so on so you can see that it is very uh, like it's a good response okay from this and I hope you have got the use case of this uh, python.env. So similarly, let's say if you have any uh, database API keys or maybe any other API keys which you, or maybe if you are having an um, AWS Amazon tokens and uh, login credentials, and if you want to keep it into uh, this .env file, you can keep it here and read them as an environment variable. So that's very interesting. And sometimes you can, if you can remember, so in AWS, we have to set that environment variable, right? So if it is already here in .env, and if you can just simply run this file, uh, run these two lines of code, it will be available as an environment variable. So it will save a lot of time, right? And you will see me uh, in future using this .env, uh, like load uh, python.env library more often, okay? It's a very good one. So let's commit the last changes here that I have done, okay? So let me commit this and uh, basic or open AI basic demo complete. I will click it again. Yes. And then let's sync the changes. So let's go to the uh, repository here. And if I refresh it, so you will see that all those things are available here. And you will see that dot env is not got uh, committed here so that means our uh, key is safe it is not committed in a public repository like this so and that's how the you can use it this python dot env right and uh, now one thing that i want to show you that let's say if you want to see that okay how the code looked like uh, before when i was committing changes so you can again click on these uh, five commits on the here and click on that and if you just let's say if i if you want to go to updated with open ai or basic example so if, let's say if i click on this and you can see that okay this was the basic example this is how the main.py file looked like at that point when i committed and if i click on browse file so i can see that okay how my repository look at that point of time right so in that way uh, whatever i have demoed and if you can see the commit message so based on that you can go back to that specific point instance uh, or instance and uh, you can recreate yourself okay and uh, yeah that's it for the demo so i hope you have learned something today so see you all in the next and till then keep on learning and keep on exploring thank you mm -hmm.